guys, I'm Alex from the Disney Pixar Connection. Welcome back. So today we are doing part two of Monsters at Work. Today we are going to be covering episodes four, five, and six. So stay tuned. Um, if you missed episodes one through three, they were yesterday. You guys can go check out that video. I will link it over here. Should be right here for you guys to watch. Um, and let's get into it. one episode for the big wazowskis so in this episode they went bowling you can see on this photo there's lafeteria now i have some questionable things about this obviously it could be a play off cafeteria but as i'm writing book three yes i'm already in book three um there is a series of shorts called the lafettes by disney so Nah, you know, I don't really think much of a coincidence. These animators do a lot of things on purpose. Next up is the Drooler Cooler logo. Um, so there are several things in Fritz's office of Drooler Cooler. We know he's obsessed. But it's a very well-known play off Coca-Cola. Um, it looks like they didn't have uh, Coca-Cola advertisement. There were some films that absolutely did, including... Um, uh, I am blanking. Oliver and Company. Um, which actually did, it was set in New York City, and it had it on the billboards. It was actually the first film done by Disney to have official advertisement. Now, as you can see on the right, there are more monsters with three eyes creating hidden Mickeys. Um, but as you can see in this also next photo, the, the bowling balls the holes where you put your your three fingers do form a hidden mickey now do i think that they specifically aimed it so that it would look like that i do i don't think they do anything by accident um it could be just a happy coincidence that they use but they definitely took advantage of it Now, this photo has not only the gumballs, there is a hidden Mickey, but the sock attack game is a play off Pac-Man. You know, we got to give it the old nostalgia. Um, the Pixar creators, if you ever watch um, other films, especially Wreck-It Ralph, have a lot of older game references so yes they do bring it back it's not the only film that has those references you're gonna have to check out my other videos very soon but that one took me a minute to figure out i will be honest with you guys and this one's quite obvious fight club fright club um the funny thing is i did not catch this the first time i watched the series i wasn't even paying attention to the easter eggs they just kind of came out of nowhere but in this scene there were i think three references it was not just the poster but the two janitors as well had um two references that they said so yeah we never talk about fight club you know what i'm saying Season 1, Episode 5, The Cover-Up. Now, this first Easter egg is quite interesting. First of all, the pipe reminds me of Ariel and um, I think it was the Duke was um, using the pipe, right? There were several pipe incidents uh, in The Little Mermaid, but the body of this monster is just like the caterpillar in Alice in Wonderland, who also uses, actually uses hookah, but it's just a big reminder. So, yeah. Next up, they showed Dracula's door. Now, this could totally, again, be a coincidence, but that, that candelier, 
um what's it called candelabra that's what it is looks oddly like lumiere from beauty and the beast but i'm talking live action version what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below now this reference was like the price is right um you have to watch it to fully understand the reference but the two janitors were like which door are you gonna choose um and so i thought it was funny to bring it in it, again another easter egg that kind of took me a few minutes to figure out i knew there was something but again couldn't uh couldn't put the words to which game show it was um so yeah definitely watch it to to catch that moment then on Fritz's floaty thing, there are a couple of Mickeys. And then this last reference is to Mike's new car, which is a Pixar short. You can watch it on Disney Plus. So go check it out. Season 1, Episode 6, The Vending Machine. Now, as you can see, I have circled a hidden Mickey in the back. This is in reference to Scottish, Scot Scotland. Um, there is a hidden Mickey's actually all over this poster board in the flowers. Um, there's a lot, so I'm not going to point them all out, but see how many you can find. And then these last pictures are of works that Mike buy for the office um i find them quite funny he does reference the artists i want you guys to name them i really want to see if you guys can get them um some are a little bit more obvious than others there also is an easter egg in one you guys let me know down below Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you enjoyed it. Let us know how we did. Any other information you want to hear, our polls will be on TikTok as well as on our Facebook page. We also have an Instagram. All of that will be linked down below. We are super excited, so stay tuned for more.